Hi everybody, we are here and we are launching a brand new product at Enger Grove, our new Elm Cups. Do you want to show them? Okay, so this is fresh off the lathe. Look at that grain. Isn't that beautiful? But now we have one more step before they're finished, which is that we've got to coat the inside with beeswax. And why are we using beeswax? Okay, so we actually went through a bunch of iterations trying to find a good finish to coat the inside. It's got to be food safe and waterproof. And there are very few things that are both food safe and waterproof and also don't have a terrible flavor like pine pitch. Um, so we tried all kinds of things. We tried mineral oil, uh, which is not waterproof enough. We tried uh, Odie's oil, which is one of my favorite finishes. Actually, it's on the outside, but it wasn't adequate for the inside. Uh, and we finally circled around to beeswax, which seems to work very well. So we are going to do a little demonstration of how we do the inside of the cups. And the reason we're doing this is so that those of you who purchase some, if you ever need to recoat the inside, we want you to be able to see how it was done. Each each mug or excuse me, each cup comes with a little bit of extra beeswax, um, just in case, so that you can do this yourself at home. But the truth is you shouldn't need to, at least for a very long time. Um, how will they be able to tell if they do need to recoat it? Well, just like with all my kitchen things made out of wood, uh, at a certain point, years in the future, they might start looking a little chalky. Um, the surface might not be smooth, it won't have luster, at which case if you're dealing with a rolling pin, you add more oil, and if you're dealing with one of these, you recoat the inside with beeswax. It's kind of like reseasoning um, pots and pans if yeah. you cook with um, cast iron. Like cast iron. Yeah. yeah. So um, we have some beeswax heated up in a little container here. I'll show you. Now, the way you do this can you see Let me it? Get a shot. So it's just on the stove here. Yeah, it's like uh, making a custard. You put it in uh, water in a pan, and then you very carefully grab it with some tongs. And uh, let's see. Should we just do it here? No, we can walk back. Okay. Grab it with some tongs, and just. Um, pour it into the cup and then this is the tricky part you got to roll it around and you got to have so, like a paper plate here or something so you can so coat. we are putting this on a paper plate so that you can see some of the excess is dripping out now you can see there that there's kind of a uh, yellowish opaque film of wax all the way around the inside and this technically would do the job yeah, you could actually just drink out of it like that. Um, but the problem is with this, is it looks not great. Um, and also, if you're washing it, you could dig a thumbnail in, and then it just looks, it, I don't know. And then you scrape it off your finish. Yeah. So then you have an unfinished mug, and the next time you use it, it'll soak up the water, well, or whatever you put in it. Even if it's soaked into the wood, it just looks nasty and like something, you know, in like a school kid's, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't like so fingernails do dug in. It? Yeah. So um, we actually just melt it again, apply heat. That gives it more time to sink into the grains and it also drains out the excess. So I'm going to move the camera again so you guys can get an interior shot of what John is doing while he runs the blow dryer. And first off, I should say, the hair dryer, wax, you got to make sure the wax doesn't get into the blow dryer because that'd be a fire hazard. So you just could do it at sort of an angle so that it, when it drips, it drips down and away from the hair dryer.
Yep. So then you just wipe it around, wipe the last little bits um, to get a nice even finish on the inside and wipe the excess down into any little... And wipe off the outside especially because you won't want that showing. Okay, let's show them the inside. And now it's a very clean... It's shiny and you can't even tell that there's any beeswax on there because yeah. the beeswax has just soaked into the wood. Now we tried this on a few test mugs and um, our test was <laughs> very simple. We filled them with red wine and just let them sit overnight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, red wine especially uh, would soak into the capillaries if it wasn't sealed well. Um, so how long do you have to wait? Honestly, just till it's cool. It's, um, that should be good now. So then, put your favorite beverage of choice in. Cheers. Cheers.